Hilco Redevelopment will pay $12.5 million to settle a class action lawsuit from the April 2020 demolition of an old smokestack at the Crawford Power Station. The Northbrook-based company filed the agreement last month in federal court that will have $1 million go to reimburse property owners, managers, or businesses damaged when plumes of dust and debris went through the neighborhood. $7 million is to be split among people who were there at the time. They have until March 26th to submit a claim. Nancy Hardy, News Radio 105.9 WBBM. It was an implosion gone wrong four years ago. You probably remember crews brought down a smokestack in Little Village to make way for a big box store. City inspectors called the project botched. Now a judge has approved a massive settlement providing a sense of closure for those who lived through a scary plume of smoke. CBS 2's Chris Ty live in Little Village with how the door is still open for others to join the suit, but the clock is ticking, Chris. That's right, Joe. They have until March the 26th to file to be part of this class action suit, part of a $12 million settlement, all stemming from that scary morning, one Saturday morning, right here, where this Target warehouse now stands, one day, four years ago. People felt a huge uh, boom sound and a trembling, almost like an earthquake and People didn't know what to make of it. It was the botched implosion of an industrial smokestack here at the former Crawford coal-fired generating power plant in Little Village, a demolition led by Hillco Redevelopment Partners. It was the day before Easter four years ago. When you see this dust cloud just coming at you, very disappointed in our elected officials and the politicians that didn't stand up for this community as if nothing could be done. Something could be done. And as of today, one big thing is done. A judge has approved this $12 million payout from the demolition company. The door is still open to join this suit, but you must have been living in Little Village at the time of this incident, as Juan Rangel was. And he says the community where it happened was no accident. I really believe that if this were any other community, Lincoln Park, any others, this would have never happened. This city inspector general report uncovered the project move forward despite warnings 213 days before that the dust from an event like this is almost cataclysmic. I feel good. It's four years later, our community received justice. That cannot happen ever again in any community. And remember, all of this was happening right as COVID was hitting its absolute peak four years ago. If you want to find out if you or someone else in your family may be eligible to be part of this class action suit, there's a website, littlevillagesmokestack.com. We have a link to that up on our website. We're now live in Little Village. Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Joe and Eric. Thanks for the update, Chris. And, com and coming up, a multi-million dollar settlement involving a botched implosion. The new developments just ahead on the news at 4.30. Next. Yeah, $12 million from Chicago residents for some Chicago residents affected by this botched implosion. What it means for people in Little Village. Well, some Chicagoans will be getting part of a $12 million settlement because of a botched implosion in their neighborhood. Hilco is the company behind the project to demolish a smokestack in Little Village in 2020. Uh, when the tower came down, it sent a huge cloud of dust into that area. Our Mayor Kawash spoke with one of the people affected by the implosion, who is now in line for a share of the damages. Some relief is on the way for Little Village residents who suffered personal damages from the Crawford Station implosion back in April of 2020. Today, the Lovie and Lovie Law Firm announcing a settlement of more than $12 million in a class action lawsuit against the Hillco Redevelopment Partners. Residents say this was the necessary outcome as they're all still shocked by how little notice they received about four years ago about that planned demolition.
we had received a rolled up flyer that was inserted in our fences the night before as if that's supposed to educate people as to what's coming, right? And nobody expected to, to have the, the problems that, that occurred the next day. Juan Rangel joins roughly 80 to 90,000 other people who can file a claim for compensation in this class action lawsuit. The law firm believes each person will receive between 200 to 500 dollars depending on how many people file a claim. A lot of the damages are the emotional distress of just wit witnessing this happening in your neighborhood. We also got a lot of reports of people who were outside coughing and being uncomfortable and having things like that. And then people had some property damage and they'll be able to recover for all of that through this lawsuit. Impacted residents will have until March 26th to file a claim online. Many of them now moving forward with more peace of mind about the message that's been sent on behalf of the Little Village community. Regardless of what the community is like, the, the makeup, the income, or what, however people want to see neighborhoods, that people have to come first, regardless. So the next step in this process now comes in April when a judge overseeing this case will decide on fully approving that $12 million settlement. From Fulton Market, Mayor Kawash, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. By this time next week. Good to hear. Thank you. All right. Thank button. you. <laughs> Everybody, button your shirt. Please. A $12 million settlement for people living near the Hilco smokestack at this time. Uh, at the time of this implosion, new at 5 o'clock, we're going to hear from the attorneys in the class action lawsuit. But first. Thousands of residents in Little Village are one step closer to being reimbursed for a failed smokestack implosion that left much of the neighborhood covered in dust. The redevelopment company in charge of the job has agreed to a multi-million dollar class action settlement. WGN's Joel Hillary spoke with the man who filed that suit. Hi, good evening. Nearly four years after that huge implosion, one of the residents who filed this class action lawsuit says while he's pleased with the outcome, he's more concerned about justice versus money. It was a clear Saturday spring day, and all of a sudden everything changed for, for people, right? And people were waking up to, to that. In April of 2020, residents in Little Village were caught off guard when a huge ball of smoke filled the air. In talking to people from the neighborhood, there was a large boom sound and then a trembling, right? So people's homes were starting to, to shake almost like an earthquake. Juan Rangel, who lived in Little Village at the time, is one of three people who filed a lawsuit against Hillco Redevelopment, the company that imploded the old smokestack at the former Crawford Coal Fired Power Plant. The implosion was part of a redevelopment project. If this was a different neighborhood, let's just say if this was Lincoln Park, an implosion like this would have never been allowed. But because this was a Mexican community, perhaps, because it's an immigrant community, a working class community, that was allowed to happen. Thousands of people and their properties were put in harm's way. If people who were outside especially were, were getting reports that people were coughing and were uncomfortable, more than that, people were scared. Attorney Scott Rauscher says an estimated 80 to 90,000 Little Village residents impacted and who file claims will likely receive 200 to $500 in the more than $12 million class action lawsuit settlement. He said a judge overseeing the case will make a final ruling about the settlement in April. Just the first step has happened where the judge gave the preliminary approval, which let us send out notice to the affected community members so that people can file claims. They have until the end of March to do that. Mm -hmm. If the settlement is approved, Juan says he plans to donate his money. I made it a point to them that I was not looking for any kind of compensation, <laughs> that anything, if we are able to succeed in this lawsuit, Anything that comes to me, I'm donating that to charity in Little Village. To learn more about how to file a claim, Little Village residents can click on this story on our website at WGNTV.com. Residents who no longer live in Little Village are still eligible for settlement money. Reporting in Little Village, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News. And Hillco will pay more than $12 million to settle lawsuits over the 2020 demolition that covered a Chicago neighborhood in dust. We'll have details on how to file a claim. That's coming your way at 4.30.
and the controversial smokestack implosion granting Little Village residents a $12 million class action lawsuit settlement. I'm Nate Rogers in Little Village. That's my story after the break. Nearly four years after coating the Little Village in a blanket of dust, Hillco is ready to move forward with a more than $12 million settlement. The steel won from preliminary approval from a federal court this week, meaning anyone who owned or leased property in that area could soon be seeing a cash payment. Nate Rogers is live with details on the class action lawsuit and how you can file your claim. Nate? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, Anthony and T. Uh, plaintiffs say this is bigger than money. It's about developers and really the city of Chicago. They say taking advantage of minority communities. And I got to tell you, it really is big news for Little Village residents. A few hundred dollars, extra hundred dollars in their pockets after a judge granted them a $12 million class action settlement. Now, take a look at this video. It is of the controversial 400 foot tall smokestack implosion. It happened Easter weekend, 2020. The former Crawford coal fired plant at 35th and Pulaski was dilapidated. Longtime residents wanted to preserve the historic building, but also claimed they were given short notice about its demolition. Juan Rangel said residents heard a large boom that felt like an earthquake, followed by dust and soot ascending on the entire neighborhood. One alderman describing the project as disastrous, saying it put residents at greater risk for poor health. Now, families coughing, some choking while being outside not knowing where all that dust was coming from. The project's developers acknowledging not following a dust mitigation plan. People in the neighborhood did not know that the implosion was going to take place. Um, I came back that morning and found a flyer that was rolled up and just stuck in people's fences. Uh, and the flyer was basically letting people know that there was going to be this implosion. But this was a flyer that was put in there like late afternoon the night before. Mm. So nobody's going to pick these up. So I, I could only imagine people woke up the next day not knowing what has happened. Now, Ringo adds this all happened right on the onset of COVID. Demonstrators slammed former Mayor Lori Lightfoot's administration about the project. Lightfoot refused to release an inspector general's report that recommended a health department official be fired and two city employees disciplined about this matter. Now, we did speak with Ringo. He said he plans to put his portion of the settlement back into the Little Village community. Little Village residents that are impacted can submit a short claim form for their portion of the settlement. More information, of course, on that on our website at fox32chicago.com. We did reach out to the developer and to the city's law department for a reaction to the settlement. We've not yet heard back in Little Village. I'm Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago. All right, Nate, thank you for